given the following code. What does the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore do? Short answer. It's boilerplate code that protects users from accidentally invoking the script when they didn't intend to. Here are some common problems when the guard is omitted from a script. If you import the guardless script in another script e.g. Import my underscore script underscore without underscore a underscore name underscore eq underscore main underscore guard. Then the second script will trigger the first to run at import time and using the second script's command line arguments. This is almost always a mistake. If you have a custom class in the guardless script and save it to a pickle file. Then unpickling it in another script will trigger an import of the guardless script. With the same problems outlined in the previous bullet. Long answer. To better understand why and how this matters. We need to take a step back to understand how Python initializes scripts and how this interacts with its module import mechanism. Whenever the Python interpreter reads a source file. It does two things. It sets a few special variables like underscore underscore name underscore underscore. And then. It executes all of the code found in the file. Let's see how this works and how it relates to your question about the underscore underscore name underscore underscore checks we always see in Python scripts. Code sample. Let's use a slightly different code sample to explore how imports and scripts work. Suppose the following is in a file called foo.py. Special variables. When the Python interpreter reads a source file. It first defines a few special variables. In this case. We care about the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable. When your module is the main program. If you are running your module the source file as the main program. E.g. The interpreter will assign the hard-coded string underscore underscore main underscore underscore to the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable. I.e. When your module is imported by another. On the other hand. Suppose some other module is the main program and it imports your module. This means there's a statement like this in the main program. Or in some other module the main program imports. The interpreter will search for your foo.py file along with searching for a few other variants. And prior to executing that module. It will assign the name foo from the import statement to the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable. I.e. Executing the module's code. After the special variables are set up. The interpreter executes all the code in the module. One statement at a time. You may want to open another window on the side with the code sample so you can follow along with this explanation. Always. It prints the string before function A. It executes the def block. Creating a function object. Then assigning that function object to a variable called function A. It prints the string before function B. It executes the second def block. Creating another function object. Then assigning it to a variable called function B. It prints the string before underscore underscore name underscore underscore guard. Only when your module is the main program. If your module is the main program. Then it will see that underscore underscore name underscore underscore was indeed set to underscore underscore main underscore underscore and it calls the two functions. Printing the strings function A and function B 10.0. Only when your module is imported by another. Instead if your module is not the main program but was imported by another one. Then underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be foo. Not underscore underscore main underscore underscore. And it'll skip the body of the if statement. Always. It will print the string after underscore underscore name underscore underscore guard in both situations. Summary. In summary. Here's what it be printed in the two cases. Why does it work this way? You might naturally wonder why anybody would want this. Well. Sometimes you want to write a .py file that can be both used by other programs and slash or modules as a module. And can also be run as the main program itself. Examples. Your module is a library. 
but you want to have a script mode where it runs some unit tests or a demo. Your module is only used as a main program. But it has some unit tests. And the testing framework works by importing .py files like your script and running special test functions. You don't want it to try running the script just because it's importing the module. Your module is mostly used as a main program. But it also provides a programmer-friendly API for advanced users. Beyond those examples. It's elegant that running a script in Python is just setting up a few magic variables and importing the script. Running the script is a side effect of importing the script's module. Food for thought. Question. Can I have multiple underscore underscore name underscore underscore checking blocks? Answer. It's strange to do so. But the language won't stop you. Suppose the following is in foo2.py. What happens if you say python foo2.py on the command line? Why? Now. Figure out what will happen if you remove the underscore underscore name underscore underscore check in foo3.py. What will this do when used as a script? When imported as a module. When your script is run by passing it as a command to the Python interpreter. All of the code that is at indentation level 0 gets executed. Functions and classes that are defined are. Well. Defined. But none of their code gets run. Unlike other languages. There's no main function that gets run automatically. The main function is implicitly all the code at the top level. In this case. The top level code is an if block. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is a built-in variable which evaluates to the name of the current module. However. If a module is being run directly as in myscript.py above. Then underscore underscore name underscore underscore instead is set to the string underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Thus. You can test whether your script is being run directly or being imported by something else by testing. If your script is being imported into another module. Its various function and class definitions will be imported and its top level code will be executed. But the code in the then body of the if clause above won't get run as the condition is not met. As a basic example. Consider the following two scripts. Now. If you invoke the interpreter as. The output will be. If you run TWO.py instead. You get. Thus. When module 1 gets loaded. It's underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals 1 instead of underscore underscore main underscore underscore. The simplest explanation for the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable imho is the following. Create the following files. And. Running them will get you this output. As you can see. When a module is imported. Python sets globals underscore underscore name underscore underscore in this module to the module's name. Also. Upon import all the code in the module is being run. As the if statement evaluates to false this part is not executed. As you can see. When a file is executed. Python sets globals underscore underscore name underscore underscore in this file to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. This time. The if statement evaluates to true and is being run. What does the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Do. To outline the basics. The global variable. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore. In the module that is the entry point to your program. Is underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Otherwise. It's the name you import the module by. So. Code under the if block will only run if the module is the entry point to your program. It allows the code in the module to be importable by other modules. Without executing the code block beneath on import. Why do we need this? Developing and testing your code. Say you're writing a Python script designed to be used as a module. You could test the module by adding this call of the function to the bottom. And running it on a command prompt with something like. The problem. However. 
if you want to import the module to another script. On import, the do underscore important function would be called. So you'd probably comment out your function call. Do underscore important. At the bottom. And then you'll have to remember whether or not you've commented out your test function call. And this extra complexity would mean you're likely to forget. Making your development process more troublesome. A better way. The underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable points to the namespace wherever the Python interpreter happens to be at the moment. Inside an imported module. It's the name of that module. But inside the primary module or an interactive Python session. I.e. The interpreter's read. Eval. Print loop. Or replace you are running everything from its underscore underscore main underscore underscore. So if you check before executing. With the above. Your code will only execute when you're running it as the primary module or intentionally call it from another script. An even better way. There's a Pythonic way to improve on this. Though. What if we want to run this business process from outside the module? If we put the code we want to exercise as we develop and test in a function like this and then do our check for underscore underscore main underscore underscore immediately after. We now have a final function for the end of our module that will run if we run the module as the primary module. It will allow the module and its functions and classes to be imported into other scripts without running the main function. And will also allow the module and its functions and classes to be called when running from a different underscore underscore main underscore underscore module. I.e. This idiom can also be found in the Python documentation in an explanation of the underscore underscore main underscore underscore module. That text states. This module represents the otherwise anonymous scope in which the. Interpreter's main program executes commands read either from. Standard input. From a script file. Or from an interactive prompt. It. Is this environment in which the idiomatic conditional script stanza. Causes a script to run. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Main. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore is the part that runs when the script is run from say the command line using a command like python myscript.py. What does if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore do? Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is a global variable in python. Global actually means on the module level. That exists in all namespaces. It is typically the module's name as a str type. As the only special case. However. In whatever Python process you run. As in mycode.py. The otherwise anonymous global namespace is assigned the value of underscore underscore main underscore underscore to its underscore underscore name underscore underscore. Thus. Including. The final lines. At the end of your mycode.py script. When it is the primary. Entry point module that is run by a Python process. Will cause your script's uniquely defined main function to run. Another benefit of using this construct. You can also import your code as a module in another script and then run the main function if and when your program decides. There are lots of different takes here on the mechanics of the code in question. The how. But for me none of it made sense until I understood the why. This should be especially helpful for new programmers. Take file of .py. And a second file xy.py. What is this code actually doing? When you execute xy.py. You import a. The import statement runs the module immediately on import. So abs operations get executed before the remainder of xy's. Once finished with a. It continues with xy. The interpreter keeps track of which scripts are running with underscore underscore name underscore underscore. When you run a script. No matter what you've named it. The interpreter calls it underscore underscore main underscore underscore. 
making it the master or home script that gets returned to after running an external script. Any other script that's called from this underscore underscore main underscore underscore script is assigned its file name as its underscore underscore name underscore underscore example. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals of dot pi. Hence. The line if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore is the interpreter's test to determine if it's interpreting slash parsing the home script that was initially executed or if it's temporarily peeking into another external script. This gives the programmer flexibility to have the script behave differently if it's executed directly vs. called externally. Let's step through the above code to understand what's happening. Focusing first on the unindented lines and the order they appear in the scripts. Remember that function. Or def. Blocks don't do anything by themselves until they're called. What the interpreter might say if mumbled to itself. Open xy.py as the home file. Call it underscore underscore main underscore underscore in the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable. Import an open file with the underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals of dot pi. Oh. A function. I'll remember that. Okay. Function A. I just learned that. Printing a function in a file. End of file. Back to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Oh. A function. I'll remember that. Another one. Function x. OK. Printing peripheral task. Might be useful in other projects. What's this? An if statement. Well. The condition has been met the variable underscore underscore name underscore underscore has been set to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. So I'll enter the main function and print main function. This is where the action is. The bottom two lines mean. If this is the underscore underscore main underscore underscore or home script, execute the function called main. That's why you'll see a def main block up top, which contains the main flow of the script's functionality. Why implement this? Remember what I said earlier about import statements. When you import a module it doesn't just recognize it and wait for further instructions. It actually runs all the executable operations contained within the script. So, putting the meat of your script into the main function effectively quarantines it. Putting it in isolation so that it won't immediately run when imported by another script. Again, there will be exceptions. But common practice is that main doesn't usually get called externally. So you may be wondering one more thing. If we're not calling main, why are we calling the script at all? It's because many people structure their scripts with standalone functions that are built to be run independent of the rest of the code in the file. They're then later called somewhere else in the body of the script. Which brings me to this. But the code works without it? Yes. That's right. These separate functions. Can. Be called from an inline script that's not contained inside a main function. If you're accustomed as I am. In my early learning stages of programming to building inline scripts that do exactly what you need. And you'll try to figure it out again if you ever need that operation again. Well. You're not used to this kind of internal structure to your code. Because it's more complicated to build and it's not as intuitive to read. But that's a script that probably can't have its functions called externally. Because if it did it would immediately start calculating and assigning variables. And chances are if you're trying to reuse a function. Your new script is related closely enough to the old one that there will be conflicting variables. In splitting out independent functions. You gain the ability to reuse your previous work by calling them into another script. For example. Example.py might import xy.py and call x. Making use of the x function from xy.py. Maybe it's capitalizing the third word of a given text string. Creating a number pi array from a list of numbers and squaring them. Or detrending a 3D surface. 
the possibilities are limitless. As an aside, this question contains an answer by at Kindle that finally helped me to understand the why, not the how. Unfortunately it's been marked as a duplicate of this one, which I think is a mistake. When there are certain statements in our module m.py we want to be executed when it'll be running as main not imported. We can place those statements test cases. Print statements under this if block. As by default when module running as main. Not imported the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable is set to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. And when it'll be imported the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable will get a different value. Most probably the name of the module M. This is helpful in running different variants of a modules together. And separating their specific input and output statements and also if there are any test cases. In short. Use this if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals main block to prevent certain code from being run when the module is imported. Put simply. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is a variable defined for each script that defines whether the script is being run as the main module or it is being run as an imported module. So if we have two scripts. And. The output from executing script 1 is. And the output from executing script 2 is. As you can see. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore tells us which code is the main module. This is great. Because you can just write code and not have to worry about structural issues like in C slash C++. Where. If a file does not implement a main function then it cannot be compiled as an executable and if it does. It cannot then be used as a library. Say you write a Python script that does something great and you implement a boatload of functions that are useful for other purposes. If I want to use them I can just import your script and use them without executing your program given that your code only executes within the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore context. Whereas in C slash C++ you would have to portion out those pieces into a separate module that then includes the file. Picture the situation below. The arrows are import links. For three modules each trying to include the previous module's code there are six files nine. Counting the implementation files and five links. This makes it difficult to include other code into a C project unless it is compiled specifically as a library. Now picture it for Python. You write a module. And if someone wants to use your code they just import it and the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable can help to separate the executable portion of the program from the library part. Let's look at the answer in a more abstract way. Suppose we have this code in x.py. Blocks A and B are run when we are running x.py. But just block A and not B is run when we are running another module. Y.py for example. In which X.py is imported and the code is run from there like when a function in X.py is called from Y.py. I've been reading so much throughout the answers on this page. I would say. If you know the thing. For sure you will understand those answers. Otherwise. You are still confused. To be short, you need to know several points. Import a action actually runs all that can be ran in a .py. Meaning each line in a .py. Because of point 1. You may not want everything to be run in a .py when importing it. To solve the problem in point 2. Python allows you to put a condition check. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is an implicit variable in all .py modules. When a .py is imported, the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore of a .py module is set to its file name A. When a .py is run directly using Python A.py, the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore is set to a string underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Based on the mechanism how Python sets the variable underscore underscore name underscore underscore for each module. Do you know how to achieve point 3? The answer is fairly easy. Right? Put a if condition. 
if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore slash slash do a then python dot py will run the part slash slash do a and import a will skip the part slash slash do a you can even put if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals a depending on your functional need but rarely do the important thing that python is special at is point four the rest is just basic logic when you run python interactively the local underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable is assigned a value of underscore underscore main underscore underscore likewise when you execute a python module from the command line rather than importing it into another module its underscore underscore name underscore underscore attribute is assigned a value of underscore underscore main underscore underscore rather than the actual name of the module in this way modules can look at their own underscore underscore name underscore underscore value to determine for themselves how they are being used whether as support for another program or as the main application executed from the command line thus the following idiom is quite common in python modules consider it checks if the underscore underscore name underscore underscore attribute of the python script is underscore underscore main underscore underscore in other words if the program itself is executed the attribute will be underscore underscore main underscore underscore so the program will be executed in this case the main function however if your python script is used by a module any code outside of the if statement will be executed so if backslash underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals backslash underscore underscore main underscore underscore is used just to check if the program is used as a module or not and therefore decides whether to run the code before explaining anything about if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore it is important to understand what underscore underscore name underscore underscore is and what it does. What is underscore underscore name underscore underscore? Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is a dunder alias. Can be thought of as a global variable accessible from modules and works in a similar way to global. It is a string global as mentioned above as indicated by type underscore underscore name underscore underscore yielding. And is an inbuilt standard for both. Python 3. And. Python 2. Versions. Where. It can not only be used in scripts but can also be found in both the interpreter and modules slash packages. Interpreter. Script. Test underscore file dot py resulting in underscore underscore main underscore underscore module or package some file dot py test underscore file dot py resulting in some file notice that when used in a package or module underscore underscore name underscore underscore takes the name of the file the path of the actual module or package path is not given but has its own dunder alias underscore underscore file underscore underscore that allows for this you should see that where underscore underscore name underscore underscore where it is the main file or program will always return underscore underscore main underscore underscore and if it is a module slash package or anything that is running off some other python script will return the name of the file where it has originated from Practice. Being a variable means that its value can be overwritten can does not mean should. Overwriting the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore will result in a lack of readability. So do not do it. For any reason. If you need a variable define a new variable. It is always assumed that the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore to be underscore underscore main underscore underscore or the name of the file. Once again changing this default value will cause more confusion that it will do good. Causing problems further down the line. Example. It is considered good practice in general to include the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore in scripts. 
Now to answer if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Now we know the behavior of underscore underscore name underscore underscore things become clearer. And if is a flow control statement that contains the block of code will execute if the value given is true. We have seen that underscore underscore name underscore underscore can take either underscore underscore main underscore underscore or the file name it has been imported from. This means that if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then the file must be the main file and must actually be running or it is the interpreter. Not a module or package imported into the script. If indeed underscore underscore name underscore underscore does take the value of underscore underscore main underscore underscore then whatever is in that block of code will execute. This tells us that if the file running is the main file or you are running from the interpreter directly then that condition must execute. If it is a package then it should not. And the value will not be underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Modules underscore underscore name underscore underscore can also be used in modules to define the name of a module variants it is also possible to do other less common but useful things with underscore underscore name underscore underscore some i will show here executing only if the file is a module or package running one condition if the file is the main one and another if it is not you can also use it to provide runnable help functions slash utilities on packages and modules without the elaborate use of libraries. It also allows modules to be run from the command line as main scripts. Which can be also very useful. I think it's best to break the answer in depth and in simple words. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore. Every module in Python has a special attribute called underscore underscore name underscore underscore. It is a built-in variable that returns the name of the module. Underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Like other programming languages. Python 2 has an execution entry point. I.e. Main. Underscore underscore main underscore underscore is the name of the scope in which top-level code executes. Basically you have two ways of using a Python module. Run it directly as a script or import it. When a module is run as a script, its underscore underscore name underscore underscore is set to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Thus, the value of the underscore underscore name underscore underscore attribute is set to underscore underscore main underscore underscore when the module is run as the main program. Otherwise the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore is set to contain the name of the module. The code under if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore will be executed only if the module is invoked as a script. As an example consider the following module my underscore test underscore module dot py. First possibility, import my underscore test underscore module dot py in another module. Now if you invoke main dot py. Note that only the top level print statement in my underscore test underscore module is executed. Second possibility, invoke my underscore test underscore module dot py as a script. Now if you run my underscore test underscore module dot py as a Python script, both print statements will be executed. For a more comprehensive explanation you can read what does if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore do in Python. It is a special for when a Python file is called from the command line. This is typically used to call a main function or execute other appropriate startup code. Like command line arguments handling for instance. It could be written in several ways. Another is. I am not saying you should use this in production code. But it serves to illustrate that there is nothing magical about if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore. It is a good convention for invoking a main function in Python files. There are a number of variables that the system Python interpreter provides for source files modules. You can get their values anytime you want. So. Let us focus on the 
underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable slash attribute when python loads a source code file it executes all of the code found in it note that it doesn't call all of the methods and functions defined in the file but it does define them before the interpreter executes the source code file though it defines a few special variables for that file underscore underscore name underscore underscore is one of those special variables that Python automatically defines for each source code file. If Python is loading the source code file as the main program i.e. the file you run, then it sets the special underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable for this file to have a value underscore underscore main underscore underscore if this is being imported from another module underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be set to that module's name so in your example in part means that the code block will be executed only when you run the module directly the code block will not execute if another module is calling slash importing it because the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore will not equal to main in that particular instance hope this helps out if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore is basically the top level script environment and it specifies the interpreter that I have the highest priority to be executed first underscore underscore main underscore underscore is the name of the scope in which top level code executes a modules underscore underscore name underscore underscore is set equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore when read from standard input a script or from an interactive prompt consider the output for the above is underscore underscore main underscore underscore the above statement is true and prints direct method suppose if they imported this class in another class it doesn't print direct method because while importing it will set underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to first model name. You can make the file usable as a script as well as an importable module. Fibo.py, a module named Fibo. Reference. HTTPS colon slash slash docs.python.org slash 3.5 slash tutorial slash modules dot html. The reason for is primarily to avoid the import lock problems that would arise from having code directly imported you want main to run if your file was directly invoked that's the underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore case but if your code was imported then the importer has to enter your code from the true main module to avoid import lock problems a side effect is that you automatically sign on to a methodology that supports multiple entry points you can run your program using main as the entry point. But you don't have to. While setup.py expects main. Other tools use alternate entry points. For example. To run your file as a gunicorn process. You define an app function instead of a main. Just as with setup.py. Gunicorn imports your code so you don't want it to do anything while it's being imported because of the import lock issue. Every module in Python has an attribute called underscore underscore name underscore underscore. The value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore attribute is underscore underscore main underscore underscore when the module is run directly. Like Python my underscore module dot py. Otherwise like when you say import my underscore module the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore is the name of the module. Small example to explain in short. We can execute this directly as output. Now suppose we call above script from other script. When you execute this output. So above is self-explanatory that when you call test from other script. If loop underscore underscore name underscore underscore in test.py will not execute. This answer is for Java programmers learning Python. Every Java file typically contains one public class. You can use that class in two ways. 
Call the class from other files. You just have to import it in the calling program. Run the class standalone. For testing purposes. For the latter case. The class should contain a public static void main method. In Python this purpose is served by the globally defined label underscore underscore main underscore underscore. If this .py file are imported by other .py files. The code under the if statement will not be executed. If this .py are run by python this underscore py.py under shell. Or double clicked in windows. The code under the if statement will be executed. It is usually written for testing. If. Name. Equals equals. Main. We see if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Quite often. It checks if a module is being imported or not. In other words. The code within the if block will be executed only when the code runs directly. Here directly means not imported. Let's see what it does using a simple code that prints the name of the module. If we run the code directly via python test.py. The module name is underscore underscore main underscore underscore. If the python interpreter is running a particular module then underscore underscore name underscore underscore global variable will have value underscore underscore main underscore underscore. When you run this script prints. You can see me. A. If you import this file say A to file B and execute the file B then if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore in file A becomes false. So it prints. You can't see me. B. In simple words. The code you see under if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Will only get called upon when your python file is executed as python example 1.py. However. If you wish to import your python file example 1.py as a module to work with another python file say example 2.py. The code under if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore will not run or take any effect. All the answers have pretty much explained the functionality. But I will provide one example of its usage which might help clearing out the concept further. Assume that you have two Python files. A dot py and b dot py. Now. A dot py imports b dot py. We run the a.py file. Where the import b.py code is executed first. Before the rest of the a.py code runs. The code in the file b.py must run completely. In the b.py code there is some code that is exclusive to that file b.py and we don't want any other file other than b.py file. That has imported the b.py file. To run it. So that is what this line of code checks. If it is the main file i.e. b.py running the code. Which in this case it is not a .py is the main file running. Then only the code gets executed. Create a file. A .py. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is always equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore whenever that file is. Run directly. Showing that this is the main file. Create another file b.py in the same directory run it it will print a i.e. the name of the file which is imported so to show two different behavior of the same file this is a commonly used trick